I've been taking Mark Brunet's digital art course for about one month now and I'm finished with term one. So I just want to give a review on what I think about it and whether you should take it or not. So I'm going to give a summary of uh, what's been covered so far and then a list of the pros and then cons and whether or not you should take the course. So this course is broken down well, term one of the course is broken down into three different components. There's Photoshop for production, there's anatomy, and then there's perspective. So Photoshop for production covers some of the basic tools in Photoshop. Um, these are like the lasso tool, the types of brushes, things like that. Um, and also some like manipulation of the images. So like if you have a castle uh, in one image, how to like move that onto a turtle or something in another image and so you don't have to use photoshop uh they do give you a one week free trial but i think he said that you can use you know clip studio paint or some other kind of software because uh, photoshop is kind of pricey it's like 20 dollars a month i think so then the next part of term one is anatomy and so this is a very very basic breakdown of anatomy uh, it goes over the basic shapes of the head, the torso, the pelvis, um, how they connect together, and then some basic, uh, you know, skeletonization of the limbs and things like that. Um, and then some of the assignments involve gesture drawing, um, practicing drawing cylinders uh, in the shapes of uh, the legs and the arms. And then it goes a little bit into how to measure uh, a figure pose and then draw it accurately so it's pretty cool i've learned a lot um that's probably the part of the course so far that i've enjoyed the most um the next part of the course is perspective so perspective uh is basically you know how we see things in 3d in the world so it goes over the foundations of perspective like the horizon line um, vanishing points, things like that. Um, and it just covers 1D and 2D perspective. So I think in term two, it covers 3D perspective. But uh, there are a couple of summons, um, like drawing the inside of a room, for example. And he gives uh, very long video demos for this kind of stuff. Okay, so what are some of the pros? The best thing about the course is probably Mark's teaching. He has a very good way of breaking things down into their simplest and most fundamental form um, and then putting them all together into something more complex so you'll actually find yourself doing things that are that that end up looking pretty complicated but he's broken them down into the most basic forms that it's easy for you to understand them uh, another one of the pros is that everything's nicely structured and laid out for you so all this stuff is really free on the internet to be honest with you like um, the anatomy the perspective photoshop it's all free on the internet you can find it all out there but just having everything you know packaged together um and presented to you in like a orderly fashion in a structured way from someone who has so much experience that's actually super helpful and you know i don't want to spend all this time like trying to figure this out for myself so um, it's nice that he has everything structured and ordered for you. Um, and then also, there's a very, very active Discord community. So uh, in the Discord community, they have uh, forums for all of the different terms of the entire art course. And also just, you know, general discussion and promotion and contests and things like that. So I haven't spent too much time in the Discord community. Um, but they are pretty helpful and you can see like a lot of the other students working on the homework assignments and the progress that they're making. So that's pretty cool. And then, so some of the cons. So before I purchased the course, I looked at some reviews too. And one of the main cons people talked about is that there's not enough homework. So for me personally, I felt like there actually was plenty of homework. I could see that if you're deciding to do this full time or you spend, you know, four or five hours a day, then yeah, there's not enough homework. But most of us are going to be spending one, maybe two hours a day working on this. And so for me, I felt like there were plenty of homework assignments, um, especially if you do them over and over again. Right. Uh, sometimes it takes, you know, you have to do something 
uh, multiple times before you get good at it. So especially the gesture drawing stuff, that took me a couple of weeks to really feel like I kind of started to get the hang of it. So, you know, if you redo the homework assignments and you're spending one, two hours a day, I mean, I feel like there's plenty of homework um, for you to do. Um, also, so I think for term one, uh, the video quality and the audio quality is not the best. Uh, I don't, can't speak for the newer terms, but I did find myself sometimes um, having a hard time like keeping track of where the cursor was pointing. So he'd say, you know, I'm using this tool here uh, and then, you know, drawing this thing and then using this other tool. But I had a hard time seeing where the cursor was. So I didn't really know what tool he was using in Photoshop. Um, so that's another one of the cons. Uh, and also, if you're someone who's more advanced with more experience, then this course is probably not meant for you because it's a or term one is not meant for you because it's a very, very basic introduction for beginners. It's a gentle introduction. So uh, so then should you take the course or not? Well, term one is fully refundable, so you have nothing to lose, really. Um, if you just send him a message, he'll refund it. So. I would say if you're a beginner, uh, if you're someone who's trying to get into digital art, or if you don't have like any proper uh, school training, art school training, then maybe it's a good idea for you to check it out. Um, I would give it four out of five stars. So like I said, there are some cons, the quality is not, the video uh, production quality is not the best. Um, Sometimes it's a little hard to follow the cursor on the screen. Um, but overall, I really enjoyed his teaching. I really like the way the course is laid out. And full disclosure, I've actually purchased the entire course, all 10 terms of it. So um, obviously I like it. I'm gonna keep uh, doing this course. Okay, so I would say in a nutshell, uh, if you're more advanced, I would skip to the later terms, but it, for someone who's starting out looking for a good curriculum to follow, this is uh, definitely um, a good course for you to consider. Okay, so um, I'm gonna leave some links to the course for term one in the entire digital art school in the description. I'm gonna be um, posting more videos about my experience uh, doing the, some of the homework assignments and giving reviews about this course and things like that. So uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you wanna follow me and learn more about this course and my journey.